So, to kill a god demo, it just starts up right in here. R. Hello. I think this is like a half-ish survivor game, if I saw it correctly. And also like action RPG, so kind of like Diablo mixed with survivor game. It looks like it at least. Um, more inventory grid. Yeah, but this one might be more Diablo. Um, and this just boots up. This is just a demo. It just boots straight up into this. There was like a story segment first, but yeah. Space. Alright. And I don't have my controller plugged in. But usually the thing is, with twin stick shooters... Um, it's still better to use the mouse in most games because you just get better accuracy. So, it's usually better. You sort of all ruin that sort of him. Jumping off vines mechanic is infuriating. Really odd feet default bindings you can't change. You can't change default bindings either? Yeah, the game is like great in a lot of ways, but as a precision platformer, it kind of makes mistakes w with its core setting. It's a bit weird. So like one of the four starting skills is the may affect the nodes you can go in the future. Choose wisely. You can only pick one of the four stating skills. It's a demo. The typo will be there. Active skill node. This is a explosive shot. This is a dragon roar. This is a bane of the abyss. That sounds angry. And this is Lightning Burst. Well, I like Lightning Burst because of Chain Lightning. I'll enter with my Chain Lightning. Doing. I have to stand still. Area cleared! Three dudes gotten down. Confirm your Lightning Burst increase. Oh yeah, so it kind of... It goes to the Path of Exile. Again, another Path of Exile inspired tree. Oh, wait. Whee! <laughs> oh, I can do this again. Whee! Whee! What does this do? Passive node. Cold resistance, increased accuracy. I guess accuracy sounds smarter. Ow, dude, I didn't even... I didn't even think. Middle mouse button. That's my lightning. Okay. It's a cute game. I like this style of game. If done well, this is very good. Like a mix of, of like what I want from a uh, an action pack Diablo kind of style, but also a mix of um, the roguelites in a way. Yay, pixel art. <laughs> I like the off-centered. <laughs> I like this. Chat, do you like this? This is good. This is good. They like the everything is to the left. Except for this one, just barely to the left of it. Eighteen strength, missing strength. I can wield no F no thing. Do I choose? Item and passive skill. And I can't use any of them. Well, this increases attack speed eventually with 20 int. So I guess... Rests, refills, cost of giving up these items. Oh, I see. That's this guy, skill enhancer with Mechamachadehef. Megmadev. Oh. Now I combine my soup. Now I can make new stuff. Oh. Couldn't, though. Miss! So that's the dexterity, I think, I guess. A miss mechanic. Oh, you can just spam it. Oh, you have spell points. Now I have minus spell points. What happens with minus spell points? Do 
Mouse look more awesome playing Ultimate Underworld, you talking about? Cool. Here's an actual bow. Probably good for me to have. For when I can use that too. The premise is very simple. But it might get interesting. In games like this, you need something to grab for them. You need something to want to make uh, keep playing it, though. Like you look at the um, uh, not bro, the that's a game called Brotato. Yeah, Brotato. It's pretty simple, but it's fun to just keep unlocking new characters and new items and just try different builds. So this. As long as it makes the builds fun, I guess. For now, we're kind of doing the same thing, but it might be in the future do some funny builds. And that could be fun. I keep missing, though. I don't know if I like the... You have to get better dexterity to hit more. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. Well, maybe unfortunate. Um... Active skills increase projectile speed. Mana multiplier. 100%? Does it mean it doesn't change? We keep walking. Where's my inventory? Can I go back to my inventory? 20 points available. Oh, okay. How I can level up. Okay, so now it makes more sense. Here, go to the inventory between stages. 30 decks, missing 6 decks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Use the bone. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Look at the UIs. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, I love it. I love that. That it doesn't fit. Hmm. Oh, I, I love that. I got a mm, my brain. Oh, look, I like everything is just like off. That's my favorite part of it. I know it's a demo, but it's still what it is. You know, it is what it is. And you gotta do it as it is. How many points we got left? How many points we got left? Fourteen points total. We had a, a ring of int. There you go. Increase maximum mana and increase tax speed. Let's just do this one. How many was it? Two, three. Put the rest into the decks. Um, and I pick up that one from here. That That's better. And so in between as well. So if I press here, dexterity shard, I still... Ah, that that's the mana ring. Okay. I would love it if you worked on the UI a little bit. Just a little bit. Would be nice. Um, at least for the future. That would be uh, sexy, but right now it's very not. But what do we do with the old items? Do we put them somewhere? Equip place? I guess we combine like them. Huh? <clears throat> okay, we have the things now. We've leveled up our character. It's just still 20 points available, but I already got them, I guess. Um... Now we're here, I guess. Can we still go out from here? No, we can't. We have to keep going. When they scale the screen for resolution, they miss scaling the items icons. That's why. Oh. So if I play this game in 1920 by 1080, maybe? Like, there, there is no window option. That's the thing. There is no options menu. At all. So since I'm playing it as a higher windowed resolution on my actual monitor, we should reboot the game and try with 1920-1080. But I'm assuming if I do that, oh, the game will... Um, I won't get my... my current run. But 
yeah, you might be onto something. It's a hat. Increased evasion. Chance of being triggered whenever I killed an enemy. Oh, trigger skill on kill support. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh, inventory. So it's five per stage, it seems like. This is just the charm? Is it? Yeah, it doesn't highlight any slot, does it? Support skill. No, do I have to actually tri I have to add it onto my active skill when we get to a new node? Is that it? Maybe. There was a node where you can like combine stuff. Oh. Is that? Oh. It looked like something I would like to press. Guess not. There's so like a lot of games. This is totally fine that games have this, but like that blue color looks awfully nice. You know? That's a nice blue color. It looks like something I would have. Stang the shard. That was a friendly green color. Hey, Autochrome. Um, another ring. Lightning resistance, increased lightning damage. We have lightning, though. Let's go for this one. Increased dexterity. I need to do the thing again where I can combine. This is skill enhancer visited. So I need to put my... I need to find another skill enhancer. Where is it? This guy. I can go down and up in there. Up in here? Up in there. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up and up and up and up and y'all gonna break me back to fools. Bopping, 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 bopping. Is this health? Yeah. Too far. Art looks like Wizard of Legend. Yeah, it kind of does. Not as good though. I mean, my mana is so fast regenerating. We could just spam the lightning instead. Can multi hit him, okay. Please feel free to stop moving around, sir, so I can slap you. I increase the roof effect. I don't really have that. A maximum lightning resistance. Energy shield. Five to maximum mana. For now, it seems fine. Of gain on kill. Increase crit 70%. That's a lot. And what's this thing? Hub. Merchant available. I guess I can go that route and see. Oh, yeah, that guy from the beginning. How's the coffee? You look a bit tired. Fuck you. You look a bit sad, Jago. Hey, you look a bit sad. Are you okay? You look a bit... You look a bit ugly today. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just me. I'm good. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm relaxed. Is that... That's the shop. Where's my money? Oh, so I'm using strength shards to buy stuff. Interesting. And now I can sell. Oh, God. 
the uh, a UFO 50 seems pretty good. At this point, I waited so long, I'm just gonna keep waiting. Until the moment strikes. Okay, yeah, this doesn't work. There's something wrong here with the stretching of the UI. You can't even... Like, what is this? Or he just, like, miscalculated it. What, like, what is, what is going on here? It doesn't even... It's like, it's extending the further you are away from the thing. Some of those games are difficult. Do you know me? I am Dr. Difficult. Man. You've seen streamers lose themselves to that game. Like in terms of that they get uh, obsessed by it. That's good though. And I'm a, I like a line, I like a variety of gaming as you can see. Just by today's stream, you can already tell that, you know, we're just playing a chunk of games. So U450 would probably hit pretty good with me. But I just decided not to get it because we had so many plans to play other games. And it was like I just bought a big game. That game cost me almost 30 bucks in Norwegian coins. So I was like, you know what? I just bought the other games here. I have enough to do. We're gonna wait. But now, and now this is like the game of the century, apparently. So I was like, oh, <laughs> but I decided in my brain that I didn't want to play it. And now it's like I don't want. But now I should. And now I feel bad about that. No, just now I'm angry about the situation. I'm gonna leave it. This seems good. This is an exotic ring. It's got freeze stuff, though. But I have lightning! <laughs> Where's the thing? There it is. Where's this thing? Skill crafter. I'll go to this. Yeah, it seems really cool. There's so many time sinks in there. I'm surprised at how good it is. I'm trying not to spoil myself now, though, so whenever I see people play it, I kind of just... tune it out. So, um, I just watch... Oh, they're playing U450. Let me leave now. Can I get a new skill? Let me finally craft... Well, I, I can't... New skill I can just, like, craft something with it. Strength, 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 strength. Bimbo, bumbo, bimbo, bumbo, bimbo, bumbo. To burn when dealing fire damage. I don't deal fire damage. This all sucks. Okay, time to... An unsettling presence stirs. Oh, it's a boss time! Okay, I see there's the list of things going on. Cool. Now I will enhance you. With a support skill. Da 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 da! It got support skill combined. It's a success rate too. Yo yee! Yo! You're sad and ugly, Chago. You're right, you are! I'm just joking with you. But whenever people do say that, I feel like it's an open way to joke with people. Because, like, whenever... I don't... There's never been a situation... Like, I'm usually thick-skinned. I just fuck around. I'm fine. You can tell, tell me that I'm ugly. I'm just gonna tell you that back. It's, it's okay. Who gives shit? But I've never seen a situation in life where people have been, like, ever happy about it. Hey, you look a little bit tired today. Oh! Yeah. Thanks. I am tired. But you told me that I look tired. <laughs> Everybody likes... That's a thing that people say. It's like never gone well with people. Mm. 
I'm tired of you. That, I guess it's a good comeback. You look a bit tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired when you get around to me. I usually feel a little bit more drained whenever you get to, like around the corner, like at the last, that like, like immediately, like. <laughs> so yeah, um, how are you doing? I need 25. I don't have a robe, do I? Just adds a little bit. Whatever. Let's just do it. Let's just fucking go, man. And this is another level and whatever. Let's just do more decks. We got a boss fight coming in. Let's go. You get that a lot, my Lexi? I finally commented with why do you always look so tired? Because I am. It's it's weird. It's unfortunate. There's also like um, a, a person that I used to work with, which is also now my... Uh, my brother's uh, girlfriend. She has, um, she has, she also knows about it. But in the beginning, it's, it, was, it was was weird because she's just being nice and kind. Everybody thinks that she's like, that she's some sort of mean spirited person. She's always like, she looks like she's annoyed with everybody. But the thing is, she just has the resting bitch face. And she also knows it. Like, yeah, I just have this this resting bitch face. No, everybody thinks that I hate them. <laughs> it's just like it's just my face. I'm just this is just me. I'm sorry that I'm just make you look like I hate you. It's so unfortunate. Just like their natural style of just living is just people think like, what's wrong with you? Why are you upset? I'm not upset. I'm existing. What's wrong? Ow. Quite excessive left screen, don't you think? When you're close to death. Like, let's turn the colors down all the way. Also, let's add some blur. The entire screen should be good for that. Why'd they just randomly die? I don't even hit them. They didn't even pop the numbers. But not for very, same, but for not very talkative. People assume I'm either shy or have something against them. Neither are true. I just don't act to a secret conversation. Is that odd? Yeah, it is in a world where people are just like, oh my god, did you just like, oh, Jesus! How you doing? Oh my god, I went to that, and I went to this, and I got my pumpkin and my ass, and I just like, oh my god, a new coffee trends? It's, I guess. And then in the world where that, it's, it's like, yes, you are going to be a little bit weirder. And the fake positivity, the toxic positivity. I'm so tired of people just like saying good stuff just to say good stuff. You know, you got this. You, no, no, you're, this is great. We're going to make you a new Concord. What am I doing? What's going on? Are we done? I'm the worst going on. I can't play. Everybody just saying like people are doing great. Even though there might be glaring issues. It's just like, no, you got you got it, you gotta keep hustling, gotta keep doing this, you know, you got it. Just, if anything, just don't be neutral. If you don't want to confront them, just be neutral. Don't encourage it because then they might think that. There's a reason why we get a lot of these like people that are really bad at singing and really bad at doing like acts, and they go on these talent shows. They get ridiculed because they always like, oh my god, it's so good sing. Am I singing? Yeah, I'm very good. Because when they're singing, they're just listening to the song while they sing, so they think they sing good because they can hit the notes sometimes. And if the people around them are also going to be like, oh, you're such a good, you're so good at this, and people are going to expect that they're good at this, and there's nothing real going to happen in their life, and then eventually they're just going to get some like actual people that are not worried about criticizing you, and you're going to get fucked. I think the game broke. Um. Yeah. Okay. It says 10. Is it like 10 enemies left on my... And there's nothing. There's supposed to be a boss here.
Nah, I think the game broke. And I can't press S, there's no menu. I'll try running the game in, in 1920 by 1080 now to see if it gets the UI fixed. Uh, let He's drinking coffee because I'm a tired fucking bitch. Oh my god. Let me be a tired bitch. I have settings now. We have settings now. It just had to skip the intro first. What the hell? We couldn't be, why? So, the first time we opened the game, it has this, like, let's go for this nonsense cutscene of intro and dialogue, and then you get right put to the game, and there's no, and then when you restart the game, now there's a, Jesus Christ, okay. Now we get it. Now we get the uh, setting screen. Good setup, good setup, truly. Yeah, when you do groceries and you walk upon someone from your past and they start asking if you're married and have kids and without whatnot, now nah, I'm the same as 10 years ago. Yeah, at this point though, it's just great because you stop caring that much. We finally have an options menu. Well, I can't reach. <laughs> I can't reach down to the ones that I want. Okay, well, that's interesting. We're going to play them 4x3 now, apparently. Come on! Oh, there it is. You have to drag. You have to do... You can't scroll. You have to drag it. Okay. All right. All right. Which one of these do you want, chat? The 1920 by 1080 top or the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh one? I don't know. Maybe the first one. I'll try that one. That's probably the most... Uh, the most hurts. All right. So we're, we're back. The game has now a settings menu when you boot it back up again. So these are different classes. And let's see if the UI is actually cool now. <clears throat> you know what I also like, Chago? When people, when you make a certain change to yourself, you cut your hair or you shave your beard or something different like that. And then people go up and say like, yeah, you know, you look way better right now. I didn't really like the, I didn't really like the look you had before. Like, Thanks! Now I know that you didn't like that. Appreciate that. In, like, retrospect. So, maybe if I turned gay, maybe you said, Yeah, I didn't really think of you as straight man. It would be better if you were gay. Like, is, is that also good then? It's like, what is, what are we... Can we find the middle ground? It seems to be centered now. What is this? Noble defense node. Look at this guy, Guardian. Face a demigod and test your might. Sure, let's go straight to that one. Seems like a good idea. You hate when people do that? That's the people that don't think about what they're saying, you know? The people that just... The same people that we talked about, like, why do I feel like I'm such a... Like, everybody thinks that I'm sad or whatever. Th those are the same people. They just like, hello, how you doing? Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, how you sailing? You game? Did you do that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then I walked over there, and then the dog had shit the rug, and then my wife said, like, oh, that wouldn't have happened if you trained the dog. And I did, but I did train the dog to be naughty. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're living such a funny life right there. Did you eat burgers yesterday? I did, but I, 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 I gotta say that I like some bacon. I, I'm, I'm a bacon guy myself. That's why. What's my new spell? I didn't try it yet. No idea when I came out so many years ago. Everyone apparently knew because I was so feminine in your childhood, obviously. Huh? <laughs> but you are a female and you were so feminine in your childhood. Or wait, no wait, let me, let me get this straight. 
I mean, well, feel free to to let your privates or whatever out, or, or or say it's not, it's not for the chat. But we'll open to discuss, of course. Your life force is actively draining. Listening to that, like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't know. I don't want to put any on blast. Feel free to let your privates out. <laughs> Wait, why can't I pick these? Oh, there you go. I missed them, apparently. You have to press the text. If you're gonna talk about your private life, you gotta let the, pri the privates out. What's the- I don't even know what the skill does yet. There it is. Strength and dexterity. Throws a single big blade that creates a vortex in the Inquisition, dealing damage over time in an area with added chance to cause bleeding. Well, we're gonna try it out first, but we're gonna see it's dexterity and strength. So I guess we'll just do dexterity and strength. There you go. Oh, it's fixed! Chat, look! We have squares. Centered icons, hell yeah. You are trans, that's why you do your research, but I was a normal kid. People rewrite the narratives. Yeah, there you go, yeah. I mean, sometimes people just say that because... Um, they just want to, to make you feel good, so they don't really think about it, so whatever. Like, some people just actually... They're fine with whatever, they just want to support your choices. But even then, they don't really know it. There's like, you need to think a little bit more about what you're saying. Because that just makes it feel like you're not a genuine person if it's... You're saying like, oh, you know, actually, yeah, this is a good choice. We've always thought of you like this or whatever. And I'm like, dude, but then you mean like you were... You, you're not truth. You're not telling me what you think about me when I'm with you. And that makes it so that in the future, I can't trust you now. And that's also where the kind of toxic positive thing comes in as well. It's like, it's just like, I, I can't trust anything they say. Oh, you look great! Hey, yeah, I look great. You say, I look great at whatever I do. Ah, oh, yeah, fantastic. You look amazing. Try moving the boat to the inventory as I had the issue earlier. Do I have the boat right now? It's increased fire damage. Increased. I don't even know if I had fire damage on the weapon. Let's see. What is it? It's uh, physical damage. Oh, there you go. Can't increase something you don't have. You can only get. Yap. Um, it's like that. How are you? How are you? Thing like ninety nine percent of the time, the person asking you don't really care. But that that's fine. That's just like a, if it's normal out in the world, thing. Yeah, everything works now. It's a normal out in the world thing. It's like how you doing? We don't really necessarily mean. That's just like making conversation, which is also weird, but it's just what it is, right? Okay, it's, it's boss time at node 3. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can't really judge that as well. Oh, God. Like, if you're out and about in a regular conversation, if you're just meeting a friend at the grocery store, you're not supposed to open your life's issue. But I think we know if you have a, if you have um, social or antennas, whatever you call them, right? You know what I'm talking about. It's just like some people all say things and don't necessarily think about the consequences of saying that. But of course, you're not going to open up randomly outside or be real constantly white lies are fine if the situation allows for it if you're at the grocery store and somebody like how you doing and you know you're not doing well you're just not going to like say i'm actually doing pretty horrible 
yesterday I thought about, you know, this is what is the purpose of it all. You're just gonna like, yeah, you know, uh, it's all right. You just leave it a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, in Australia, it's very much like it just a saying hello thing. Hi, guy, mate. In Norway, it's. I beat the demo by you taking up one node. I. Level reached two. Thank you for playing our demo. What? I just started my run. What do you mean? Thank you for playing our demo. I just, I just begun the run. What do you mean? Thank you for playing. You reached level two. What happened? It's a demo. It's a very short demo. All right, you killed an enemy. You saw a skill and that's gonna be that, I think. You're gonna you're gonna get a funny look if you don't say you're fine in a normal like everyday situation, of course. But it's hard to explain like as a hundred percent. This is how you should act. What is going on here? Oh God! Because it is all about like the situation and what the context can al allow for in a way. You just got a vibe. You just got a human a little bit, you know? But yeah, as I said, in Norway as well, it's like, we don't necessarily... We usually just say hi, hi. If we say, start, how you doing? Like, we're on Gorda. Vashera. Vashera is better. Like, that's like saying, what's up? Vashera, it's more like a co uh, cool hip thing, at least it used to be back in the day. That like, doesn't necessarily mean you need to say much. That's just saying hello. But, but yeah, here too, it's if we talk about, if we say, hi, how you doing? That's like, oh, I will have to explain how I'm doing now because they asked. That looks like a lightning arrow. You, you can see it. It's locked. And, but I, I did this one though. Because it needs level 5 and all the stats. Oh, okay. But I could face a demigod. That's a bust! <laughs> Stop. It's a messy demo, like in terms of all the issues happening, graphical glitches and whatever, but I think the concept is cool. It's not ready. That's what I have to say. The concept is, of this game is really cool. Definitely needs a lot of time to get rubbed in the engine um, before it's, it should be released. But... Um, cool idea. We just apply it to, but it never fails to bring a smile to my face when, when I hear, How are you? even from a random cashier in the grocery store. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's different. It's a regional thing. I like the sound effect plays two seconds afterwards. Listen, press. There you go. <laughs> Too many stats! Sk 
Skill crafter. Oh, okay. Crafting chance. But I have to have the... The crafting grid recipe for these. I have no shards. Okay. Alright. Alright. I... So that's just like the, the the shards of like picking up the stats, but I need my recipe first. I can't press any button. Great, that was a good that was a good place to be at. Seems like a lot. It's fine. It's a demo. They're just putting it all out there. But yeah, it's in the demo. It's a bit front loaded. Um, with lot. I do have to say, though, that I think more games should do this thing where just... Since it's already kind of a roguelite setup with a lot of these games, I feel like the generally better direction uh, with games, like, when you have a lot of functionality, just, like, add them in slowly as an unlock. So, like, you can now get, uh, like, speed ability boost on your weapons like, because you just keep things simpler. And you get excited about, oh, if I do this, I can get that these things now happening. It's a simple way. Like, it's not, you know, it's not a ready, set, done thing. But having that in mind when you're creating the game, it's like, okay, let's make something simple and easy. And then make rewards for the future gameplay elements. Like, make them want to chase. That automatically creates more goals you want to tick. And also makes the game simpler to start and get into as well. They might be afraid. I feel like sometimes developers are afraid of their game seeming too simple from the get-go. So they're not like, okay, I don't want to just create a game where just like you have just go and shoot. It's too simple. But, and so they, like, they just front load you like the thing with Enotria as well. Enotria, the Souls game, the Italian Souls game. It's just like, there's so, we have all these things. Look at all these things we have for you. We can do this and this and this and this. You have these four status effects. They do all these different things. They're weak and strong against these two. And then this, you can get drunk. But if the enemy gets drunk, they have this. But if you get drunk, they, you have this style. style. So they get stronger, you can get weaker, vice versa. These are all new names. You don't know anything about it. Then you can have these different masks. These different, like, setouts and layouts. You can have this mask on. This is stronger with this one. This, and, you, and you can also have these tokens and relics upon, on top of it. These tokens and relics have different uh, abilities and skills. And also there's passive ones as well. You switch between them. And also you can't really hit the enemy if that's that to fix you need to change to legato to hit this enemy and it's like dude for fucking 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 dude, shit fuck i don't know i just wanted to play souls but now i need to play like the tests so like it's some middle way of like finding new stuff as a as a fine like finding a reward for doing that like when we suddenly like now you have an item that does Burn! Now we can burn pieces. Like, burn is good! Burn is great! Now we just have burn. So now it added in, like, the fun thing. I have nothing to buy. I don't even know what I want. You know what I want? Boop, boop, boop. I didn't really pay attention to what my character is, so my character is now everything. Probably Path of Exile, too many skills, too percent chance to deflect arrows when fighting Spectral Archers on Tuesdays on Ramadan. <laughs> it's like, very good for that specific event you're gonna do later on. Keep that one. When you see a sphere grid, you know the game isn't for you. I think it could be cool, but yeah, it needs to be done in the right way. A sphere grid is is a fun thing for like randomizing a, a loadout and the setup of the game or whatever. It could be a complex map pick. But a lot of games lose their identity just because, like, they're just trying to do... Let me do a little bit of Vampire Survivors, let me do a little bit of Path of Exile, and let's do the good old Diablo Diablo thing. It's like, okay. 
Just tr they're just trying to hit all the things. Like, that's kind of what I feel like I'm playing, to be honest here. I, I think the game seems like a fine idea. Might be cool in the future as well. Like, if they get things patched out. But I feel like I'm playing a game that's just trying to imitate cool things from classic popular games. And you're hoping for a thing that happens, that people like it. I'm not seeing a game that tries to be like, I have a passion to do this. This, I think this is a great game. I see a game that wants to be great, you know what I'm saying? I'm explaining it like an artist. It this doesn't have the essence of art of a game. It has the idea of I want to be Picasso, but not like I am, I am of message. The music is good in this. Oh, is there any music? <laughs> I haven't heard any music. There's nothing left that's already been done. That's just false. There is, we've done the most things, but there is always creativity to be had. But in the in the world that we have, for example, we just we can't imagine things that haven't been invented yet. Because it's not out there yet. So you can't compare something that's not there yet. There's also the fallacy of like, um, like thinking about new things, which of course we've done. All we've made a lot of movies, we made a lot of games, we've done a lot of things in many different ways. That doesn't mean that there is no new category. It just means that we haven't been there yet. It's going to be harder because we've done definitely more ways. Like if you imagine, like there's different ways to walk. There's a certain amount of ways that you can physically walk in a different way. So there will be more and more limitations to that as well. But in this world of just making a software and app, we can just still be creative and make something new. But if not, something new is just still just something that is like has like this. This is I think this is good. Not just like a um this is popular. This is slay the spire map. I want to slay the spire map. I want a skill tree from Path of Exile. I want to have the vampire survivor success. So it's simple gameplay. It seems easy to easy to create as well. I'm gonna go for that. It's like you're just trying to pick from all the things that are popular, and then you just get like a you just deflate. Oh. I love, I love the, <laughs> the late sound effect is so good. There's always new things, it's just harder to imagine them. Yeah, like I always like to say as well, an easy comparison to that idea is think about your favorite food. Think about the food that is like the best thing you've ever tasted. All right. Think about the food that like this is the best food that I can imagine. The thing about that, is, which is so interesting, is that this is the best food that you can imagine because it's the best you've been able to experience. There's nothing over that. But there could be something that's like five times better than what you're... The best thing you've ever tasted. It's... But you can't imagine the flavor. Because it's impossible to imagine something better than you've ever tasted. But it doesn't mean that it's not out there. Diablo 1 creator David Brevik planned to make Diablo 1 turn base. Oh, yeah. That was very fun. And it became just like, oh, well, it's fun like this, I guess.
Where are we? Here we are. So, the loop here is... It's, a, it's, it's, eh. Uh, for now, at least. The thing is, uh, considering the differences with, for example, Brotato is super simple as well. It's just more frantically faster paced and you get shit all the time and you can upgrade. And this on top of that and that on top of that. This is just going a little bit too slow and it's the same enemies over and over again. And yes, it is the demo, but... Um... This is what we've been presented with. We always have to deal with things as presented because if else, we're just gonna get like a new, a game that tries to be GTA, but it's like a demo. It's oh, it's not that great. Should we say that? Oh, we can't judge it. It's not the game is not ready yet. No, we have to judge what we have. So currently, what we have is a, a lukewarm example of what is a neat concept of its own. It just needs a lot more personality. And a lot more touch-ups to be to feel great as well. Right now, this game exists. Yeah, everybody should be able to judge a book by its demo anyway. Oh, I got hit by that? I dodged through it. Area clear. Not really. He's still alive. <laughs> the game just said, ah, just leave it. Nah, you got him. Yeah, it took a little while there. Just, uh, yeah, just, uh, just leave him alone. Another skill crafter, but I can't do anything with these. Use your shards. Oh, I need to fill it like this. Oh, okay, I see what I need. I see what you want. I need to fill these in here first. I have a lot of green. I can make chain lightning with a big H. Um. Oh, I don't want to split it like that, though. Uh. Uh, how do I split just one? Thank you. Uh, uh, I guess it works out. Chain lightning. So it's sprayed. Is it higher if I add more stuff? Maybe not. It worked! Chain lightning. You're playing Halls of Torment right now? Halls of Torment is pretty good. At least for the, the most of the beginning. Like, playing it for about maybe 10 hours is fun. You can keep going, but after that, it just becomes like a completionist uh, game, in my opinion. Okay, I have my chain lightning now. I will equip it. This requires level 12. 8 strength. 8 strength. There you go. How many point points I got? How many points you guys got? How many points you guys got? Yeah, they just got released with their 1.0 version. Hey, sheep. Pretty much all horse oil games after varying amounts of hours. I mean... The thing is, you play them for a while because it's like intriguing and interesting. That's the thing. Like, when I play Halls of Torments, I played it a bunch myself. It's... It's... First, it's like weird to get going, and after you get it going a bit, it's interesting. It's like you're always intrigued by, oh, I gotta do... I can try to do this if I succeed, blah, blah, blah. And after a while, it just becomes like... Okay, now you just need to have try to figure out how to succeed in these different stages so the like the uh, sense of exploration and being awed by the new stuff and trying to figure out the game kind of slows down and just becomes a part of of completing the game it doesn't mean that the game is gets bad it means that it gets 
like different and more dull usually in my opinion so it's like now i kind of figured out the game i know what to do i know what to expect the game is not going to necessarily change on me and now i'm just trying to complete this stage with getting either just like grinding for better tools uh, or like slightly getting lucky on my run things like that um but then again, a lot of people are really driven by it, like getting the ticks on the boxes, the achievements, for example. A lot of them. So if they have the ticks to go after, they're kind of like, okay, now I've discovered the game. I know what the game is about. They still keep going because they have this like this allure of like completing out the game. Need more health. I have no more health potion. Jedi was good. Every new content update I wanted to play Vampire Survivors less. I never got back into it. I haven't gotten a single DLC. I just I've not played Vampire Survivors a lot at all, personally. Cold damage on the bow, cool. I have the armor, increase cold damage. That sounds good. This is a survivor game. Also some ARPGs. Why am I getting hit by that cold? What do you mean I got hit there? This is a the mix, yeah. I'm getting hit by the projectile before it lands. If I'm between, it seems to be. At least sometimes I do. It's a demo called To Kill a God. Uh, it's a little bit lackluster. It's a cool idea, but it just seems like we've talked about it a little bit today. It just tries to do all the cool things. And it needs to be polished a little bit before it can get to be a cool game on its own. There they had an Among Us crossover. <laughs> All right. We have um, tried to kill a god. Do we go back to playing uh, Warriors of the Eternal Sun? Keep going on that game? We have more to do there. We can't play Wizard of Legend 2 yet because um, there's a mess with the sponsors. I have to wait till tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, but a uh, nuisance. I was going to play that today, so that's why we're doing a little bit of demos and everything else. And we could go back and play that. I have some other new games we can also play, but we played three games today already. We could do more Silence of the Siren as well. But I want to kind of complete Wars of the Eternal Sun. Now let's go play that game. At one point we need to complete it. Um, all right. Uh, I guess you... If I leave it alone for too long, that's the problem. If I leave that game alone for too long... I still can't go back to the menu here. You gotta do alt for him. I'll just forget about it. Um, so yeah, let's get back into that game a little bit. Uh, I'll take a break first, though. So thanks, everybody, for watching the To Kill a God demo. I'll be right back. I have to do some stretches and set up the game again. And um, take a break yourself if you need to. I'll see you guys in a moment. You beautiful beans.